We know how purchasing power parity works in theory. Now we're going to have a look at some limitations that get in the way in reality. So first up, it turns out that if you look at the real world evidence, purchasing power parity holds somewhat in the long run, but much less so in the short run. You may ask, why would this be the case? Well, it comes down to Keynesian economics. We say that prices are sticky, and realistically they are. You know, prices are not constantly updating. They do stay constant for a certain short amount of time. But exchange rates, on the other hand, are fluctuating, going up and down absolutely constantly. When economic news comes out, exchange rates are quick to adjust. So while purchasing power parity suggests that the real exchange rate should be equal to 1, if we look at it over time, it'll be sort of fluctuating up and down. But if you look at it over the long term, you know, very zoomed out, if we imagine that this is 1 here, we would find that it would typically sort of stay around 1. In the long run, purchasing power parity holds reasonably well, but in the short run, those constant fluctuations mean that you can't expect it to be equal to 1 at any given time. But regardless of whether you look at it in the short term or the long term, there are certain limitations, such as, for 1, there are certain goods that just cannot be traded. When we talk about purchasing power parity, you know, we're talking about this fact that if there is differences between prices, 